y'all. This is Angie coming to you from Angie's Courtyard. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know it's been some time since I've been on. Please forgive me. My household got hit with a stomach bug. Can you believe it? And just taking that hit in the household where it was just bouncing off of each and every one of us. No one in the house was left unhit. Really made me think about um, the infection and how it was just so infectious and you know looking up the word infection it, it, it's like it's likely to spread rapidly and just attach itself to an organism and usually it's transmitted through people based off their environment and you know just thinking about that really had me think about you know how many things are you letting infect you like where where what is your environment infecting in you you know you you wonder why you you get around certain people and you start thinking negatively you get around certain people and doubts start coming and you get around certain people and all your visions start to um diminish you know everything that you set out to do just kind of just subsides it just kind of goes off and you just can't quite get your your thoughts together you just can't quite get your plan together things are just not going according to the way you have hoped it to be and it's all based off that infection that you have let infect your life you let the naysayers infect your life you let um selfishness infect your life you let doubt infect your life like you know things that's going on in this world where division is infecting our nation and it's really spreading rapidly people that are just touching each other and it's just bouncing bouncing off of people you know with this whole immigration issue that's taking place and the people that are being held at JFK it's just such an infection that's spreading throughout the nations where people are just they were either picking sides and and they just saying up uh, saying oh send people back but you just don't understand the domino effect that it um that that happens with this whole procedure that's taking place and i really don't like to talk about politics but this this really it was like an I'm just watching an infection just really consume the nation right before my eyes. And I really want you guys to look, take a look at your life and, and just open yourself up. You know, when you get an infection, you got to take medication to, to drain that thing. What are you using to, to, um, kill the, <clears throat> to kill the, um, to kill the fever of the infection that's taking place in your life. What are you using? Like, what are you reading? Who was around you? Who are you going to see to uh, diagnose you, to, to tell you what you need to take, the prescription that is needed to take? You know, my house was, like, laid out. Kids were... Uh, throwing up and fevers and it, it was just it was just a mess and I'm just watching it and it's bouncing off each and every one of us and really really we I had to take okay I, it's time to take control I had to start lights on things down washing things ripping everything off of the beds uh wiping the kids down uh, you know giving them the mess that they need a uh, mopping just Clorox and everything down because I needed this infection out of my household and you know enough was enough it really it really subdued us. It, enough was enough. We were just paralyzed. We couldn't do anything. And it's time for you to say enough is enough. Like what is paralyzing you? What what infection has infected your body that you just can't? It, you just paralyzed. You can't move. And that really, really, really blessed me as I look at it. And I really want you to look at what has infected your life. And it's time to take those meds. It's time to take those. Uh, time to get that prescription. It's time to get diagnosed. It's time to see a doctor. It's time to get rid of it. Okay. So. I wanted to drop that nugget with you. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day. As they say, it's hump day. So whatever. Let's get through the week. It's midweek. And until next time, be the better you than you were yesterday. And may the Lord thy God bless you according to his will for your life.